astronomers have uncovered three new moons, including Uranus's first in over two decades, marking a milestone in our understanding of the outer reaches of the solar system. The International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center made the announcement on February 23rd, revealing not only the new addition but also shedding light on its fascinating characteristics. Provisionally named S-2023 U1, the new-found moon is a mere 8 kilometers in diameter, making it potentially the smallest moon in Uranus's rather extensive lunar family. The three newly discovered moons are the faintest ever found around these two ice giant planets using ground-based telescopes, said Dr. Scott S. Shepard, an astronomer at the Carnegie Institute for Science, in a statement. It took special image processing to reveal such faint objects. Dr. Shepard spotted S-2023 U1 using the Magellan telescopes at Carnegie Science's Las Campanas Observatory in Chile back in November 2023. This tiny moon, with an orbital period of 680 days, brings Uranus's moon count to a total of 28. The moon will eventually receive a moniker inspired by a Shakespearean character, in continuation of the tradition of naming outer Uranian satellites. Neptune's Enigmatic Moons The intrigue of our solar system deepens with the discovery of two new moons of Neptune, with one claiming the title of the faintest ever discovered by ground-based telescopes. The brighter of the two, provisionally named S-2002N5, boasts a size of about 23 kilometers and requires almost nine years to complete an orbit around Neptune. Dr. Shepard and his colleagues traced S-2002N5's orbit back to an object glimpsed near Neptune in 2003, offering a glimpse into the moon's past interactions. However, it is the fainter Neptune moon, provisionally named S-2021N1, that presents a unique challenge. With a size of approximately 14 kilometers and an orbit spanning almost 27 years, this elusive moon demanded special observing time under ultra-pristine conditions. Telescopes at the European Southern Observatory and the Gemini Observatory played crucial roles in securing the orbit of this enigmatic celestial body. Both S-2002N5 and S-2021N1 will be renamed based on the 50 Nereid sea goddesses in Greek mythology. Beyond the individual characteristics of these newly discovered moons, their presence hints at the chaotic history of our solar system's outer regions. The distant and inclined orbits of these moons suggest that they were likely captured by the gravitational pull of Uranus and Neptune during or shortly after the formation of these ice giant planets. Because the moons move in just a few minutes relative to the background stars and galaxies, single long exposures are not ideal for capturing deep images of moving objects, said Dr. Shepard, explaining the process behind the discovery. The team took dozens of five-minute exposures over three four-hour periods over several nights. They then added them together to create a single clear image after accounting for the apparent motion of each respective planet over these nights. By layering these multiple exposures together, stars and galaxies appear with trails behind them, and objects in motion similar to the host planet will be seen as point sources, bringing the moons out from behind the background noise in the images, Shepard added. These new observations are expected to complete the inventories of Uranus's and Neptune's moons of sizes between 8 and 14 kilometers, adding to our knowledge about these distant, enigmatic planets.